e, Cemal Kişmir, BNP Paribas Cardiff'in genel müdürüyüm ben. Bugün burada buluşun sebebimiz esasında yeni teknolojilerin sigorta sektöründeki rolü. BNP Paribas Cardiff'e baktığımız zaman BNP Paribas Cardiff doğası gereği zaten bir ekosistem oyuncusu. Çünkü birden fazla iş ortağıyla çalıştığı için bu ekosistemin içerisinde net olarak değer yaratıp iş ortaklarıyla paylaşıyor. Yeni teknolojilerde esasında bunu mümkün kılan en önemli unsur. Hi, my name is Go, and I am an artist, entrepreneur, uh, business consultant. I work at Cardiff Lab. So in BNP Paribas Cardiff, we have a head office uh, function that helps uh, business, uh, different Cardiff entities accelerate their projects. And there I also do the startup investments and relations uh, management. So uh, right now, uh, we're, we're in Cardiff, Turkey, and uh, we're supporting uh, one of their first uh, Uh, I guess it would be a startup event, yeah. And uh, right here, I, I did. I had a chance to also coach some of the startups up here. Bizim modelimiz tamamen birden fazla iş ortaklığına dayandığı için en önemli konu bu iş ortaklıklarımızla bizlerin arasındaki entegrasyonu kurabilmek. Yeni teknolojilere baktığımız zaman da bu entegrasyonu mümkün kılabilmekte, ileriye taşıyabilmekte bizim için son derece önemli. I guess I would speak from a, a corporate uh, perspective. Um, when you try to engage with uh, corporate entities, uh, you have to understand that they have a completely different culture. And sometimes it's not about the solution, the technology, even the problem that you're trying to solve, but it could, you can encounter uh, cultural challenges. So be aware of that, be empathetic, and really be out there to, to learn, not just to sell your solution. So I think that's uh, the, the first point of advice I'm, I might start with. Öncelikle sigortacılığın temelindeki bizim aktüaryal hesap dediğimiz sonuçta riskin fiyatlandırılması ve teminatlandırılması olan konu şu an için Big Data dediğimiz konuyla esasında başka bir ufka doğru hareket ediyor ve dolayısıyla buradaki modellemeleri net olarak esasında Big Data ile destekleyip bunun üzerinden yeni yaklaşımlar geliştirebiliyoruz. Bir diğeri robotik süreç otomasyonu. Bu ise arkadaki operasyonların gene aynı şekilde e, robotik süreç otomasyonuyla daha verimli olarak yapılması için özellikle emeklilik alanında kullandığımız gene yeni teknolojiden bir tanesi. Ama tabii ki bunlar bizim bugün için hayata geçirdiğimiz daha çok esasında dönüp süreç optimizasyonu dediğimiz alanlardaki fırsatlar. Ama süreç optimizasyonundan gerçekten şirketi dijital olarak dönüştürmeye çalıştığımız alana geçtiğimizde sadece bunlarla sınırlı değil. Ben eminim burada gerek blockchain olsun Gerek onun dışında yapacağımız artificial intelligence uygulamaları olsun, şirketin bir sonraki aşamaya gitmesinde çok önemli rol oynayacaktır. And, and the second is, you know, being a, being a founder and starting a business, uh, I can I can empathize with the challenges that you would have, and it's very important to know that you're also basically a salesman, and you have to know that the more places that you approach, the more you pitch. You're going to learn from them, uh, but not all are going to succeed. But don't don't think uh, that you're being uh, rejected. Don't get discouraged. Uh, think of that as just another experience, another chance for you to, to pitch. And every time you do it, you're going to get better. And I have had my uh, my share of closed doors. I, I I think that's been the foundation that I stand on to succeed next time. So I hope you can perceive it that way. Uh, maybe the last point of advice I would give is uh, that uh, you always go back to why you started or founded your business. Um, why you do something is going to be your guiding principle when you are going to pivot. And if you lose sight of why you're doing something, sometimes you could just be chasing in a way the money and it could be end up short term. And I think fulfillment in whatever business you do is going to be, your personal fulfillment is going to be very important. So please, please don't lose sight of that. Okay, and uh, talking about skills, uh, being very honest and from my experience, I would say a founder, 
could have should have all the skills in the world, right? Uh, I think uh, entrepreneurs or people who are tackling uh, a lot of challenges with a lot of risk, you can never have enough skill. So the the basis of being able to learn a lot is to have a growth mindset. See every challenge as an opportunity to grow, uh, to learn new things. And uh, something that's always been a strength of mine is no matter what happens, no matter who I meet, I'm always eager to, to learn from them. And this goes not just for uh, like uh, great mentors of mine, but for me, even the, the startups that I met here in, in Turkey, I feel them as mentors for me because they're tackling a different problem, they come from a different path. And, and I, I think my greatest skill and strength is to be able to pick up on that, use that as something for me to grow. So I think being able to grow from any situation is, is definitely the biggest skill. Uh, and maybe I'll, I'll mention another one that might be a little bit uh, old school, but um, I think that having a knowledge of the technology or the special domain that you're working in, um, not just being able to orchestrate everything as, as like let's say a CEO or a COO, but really to be able to do thing, ha things hands-on, whether it's uh, coding some script to create an algorithm in Python or to be able to design a logo yourself, um, uh, orchestrate a marketing campaign, being able to do something hands-on, especially uh, further down the line when your company gets bigger and you have to hire people or you have to hire people to hire other people, having hands-on knowledge of something is really going to help you. And uh, looking at and analyzing investments for startups, I think that when I meet a company where they're outsourcing a lot of things, um, you know, it, it raises uh, concern for me sometimes. Of course, if they're outsourcing something that's not important part of their core uh, value proposition, I mean, of course, that's that's fine. You don't have to do everything. But if it's a core part of, of, of what you are doing or the value you're delivering, I think it's very important that it's internalized or you understand what part of that to internalize. So that, that would be the next skill. And uh, finally, I guess the last skill, I think is to be very human, uh, be able to communicate well, empathize, because um, I think everything, no matter how deep tech it is, everything is founded on people and, and uh, I guess who we are and, and our emotions, our passions, our dreams. So being able to connect with things like that I think is going to be uh, very, very helpful as you hire people, build business connections and generally enjoy your life because if you don't enjoy your life, you know, what are you doing? So that, that's uh, my last words. I uh, hope they're helpful. Thank you.